you've got. Can I say that first? <laughs> Good morning. I like. Is that tea in there? A cup of tea? Got a cup of tea, yes. Yeah, nice. Do you That's have the saucer to go with it, Martin? That's a question. Have I got what? The saucer to go with it. No, of course not. It's a mug, really. It's a mug. Speak it's very, very nice. And the other thing I would share is if we were listening to that music and everyone's going back. What's lovely is I, you genuinely, I could see you were kind of enjoying hearing that back. And I, I don't mean that doesn't mean to make you egotistical or anything. It's just rather d delightful to see. Yeah, because I don't get really get a chance to listen to that anymore. But they are on the album. You know, it's a bit of a cliche, but they are songs of people's lives. You know, they are the, the soundtrack to a lot of people's lives that grew up through the 80s. And uh, I'm really proud of it. And the uh, whole idea of the album, you know, 40 years, is just to mark that occasion, 40 years. I mean, that's such a long time. And we wanted to do something. The band isn't around to go out and play live at the moment. So we thought we'd bring a record out. with, And it's got on it, it's got absolutely everything and some really good obscure tracks that have never been released, like we did the last record we ever made in the studio was a cover of The Boxer, Simon and Garfunkel's The Boxer, which never came out. But we put it on this and we put loads of other stuff on this that's keep it interesting. Love that track. So looking forward to hearing that, Martin. Um, 40 years, how do you compute that? Does it feel like 40 years? Has it flown by? Well, it's just a lovely legacy, I think, that you know, me and the other guys are leaving behind it's just um a wonderful thing it's got yeah i mean it kind of goes quicker and quicker as you get older doesn't it you know how time goes you know the older you get the quicker it all goes and uh, but when i look back at it now if i see myself on television holding a guitar in that band it feels like someone else it feels like you know that old uh, saying of every seven years you become somebody else because you regenerate every cell in your body after seven years and uh, I must be about five times, six times a different person now. Uh, Martin, my confession is that, because uh, we're not dissimilar in age, uh, I was actually there right at the beginning. You didn't know this, but I was in the Rum Runner in Birmingham in, in those heady, new romantic days uh, when everyone wore those outfits and had the extraordinary hair. So I remember it very well. I do oh. not have any of the outfits that uh, I used to wear in those days. Do you still oh. have yours? Yeah, I do. I do have some. In fact, if you'd have told me, I would have got some down and I could have showed it to you. And it's quite nice. But you know what's, what was different about it was that when I was wearing that stuff, no matter how ridiculous it looks now, you have to put it in kind of perspective. I was watching The Crown the other day, right? And uh, a Princess dies there with a big shoulder pad, some massive hair, um, the main, and that's pop culture. But in our day, it was saving up all month to go and buy your album, to hold that, that became your flag, that picture, and what you wore. You wore those clothes to attract other like-minded people that were into the same things, and that was pop culture, and I think we really missed that. Hello, what's going on? What's happening? Oh, the postman's at the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, Martin, in, in, unless you need to go and pick up a parcel, is that all Sorry? right? Do you need to go? No, it's all right. Sorted. So, Martin, you've got, you've got the album coming out. You've got the book coming out as well. And I really like the fact this is a shared project with your wife, Shirley, because you two have been together for, well, like forever. And it's yeah. a bit of a cliche to say, you know, the longest running marriage in showbiz. But you cannot be successful and stay sane unless you have that really great working partnership, right? Absolutely. And it was something I always wanted to do is put a book together with Shirley because Shirley's got such a, a wonderful story, you know, of growing up with uh, George and Andrew inside Wham and taking that around the world. And then, you know, if you put that as a juxtaposition against uh, my story in Spandau, it be, in my head, it was always like a movie where you get a plot and a subplot working against each other all the time, taking different positions. And so I wanted to put it down. And during lockdown, like everybody else, we had a lot of time on our hands and we put the book together. And it called It's a Love Story and it's it's out now. Now, then I, I wanted, you know, you mentioned it a little bit earlier on, Martin, about the, the sort of soundtrack of people's lives. Now, over the years, you must people must have just come up to you in the street or said, oh, do you know what? That song takes me right back to, of all the...